people have been asking me about field charging their packs how do they keep their packs going all day long and this is what i normally use on my day to day this is a 4s 3p 18650 pack i spot welded myself it is a 4s 10,000 um maw so you can charge about five packs off of this before it goes drain dead and uh, just keeps me going. Uh, these are also really popular. This is a 6S 5000 mAh battery pack. Now this one is LiPo, so it is gonna be a lot less uh, shelf stable than an 18650 pack will, but it'll deliver more amps. So if you're trying to run uh, four batteries at a time off of it, this is gonna be a little better for you, but this is gonna last you a whole lot longer. This pack can sit on the shelf for two years and it'll be totally fine, whereas these guys get puffy and wear out the cells pretty quick. Uh, but this is all I really need for most days in the backpack. Uh, I carry this in this with me pretty much everywhere I go, and I carry these guys all charged up. But when they go dad, or I need to recharge a goggle pack or something, this uh, takes care of them two at a time. And right now I'm charging at a 2C rate, so we're getting almost three amps out of each side right now so that these will charge up in about a half an hour. Um, this charger itself is up to 500 watts. So you can put out as many as 10 amps per side, uh, which is a whole lot more than you're going to need to charge one of these batteries. Now, a big pack like this, charge at 10 amps, it'll be full in half an hour. So that's why uh, why the power rating goes so big. Or if, if you want to do parallel charging, this thing will really support it as well. But I really recommend against parallel charging. I think you'll do far better off if you individually balance every single battery. You're far less likely to ruin your cells. Many of you are going to say, but Dave, that's only two batteries at a time. How do you charge all those packs with only two at a time? Well, I don't. At home, here's what I rock, and I take this to the field with me as well. Uh, this is a 670 watt power supply for an HP server. Uh, Dell server power supplies work great too, but I have modified it so that it has three XT60s pushing the power out at 24 volts. And I've added my own fan and this cooling shroud just to help keep it cool. Most of these power supplies are going to have built in fans, mine does not. Uh, I prefer uh, to have one built in, but since I didn't, I just made it myself. Um, anyway, three XC60s out of that. It'll push 670 watts at 25 volts. That is 29 amps. So I can deliver 29 amps out to my 6S batteries. So what I'll do is I use this uh, four-way Turnigy 4x6, and I use a pair of these M6Ds, and that'll have me charging eight batteries all at once. Uh, if I charge them at 2C, then they'll get done really nice and quick, and I'll get through the whole pack quite quickly. I can do um, averages out to about every 2 minutes and 45 seconds another pack is ready. So if I'm chasing drift cars and I want to do 45 packs in a day, uh, I'm bringing three chargers out all on one power supply, and I'll just slam pack one after another after another.